Good morning. It's Thursday, July 18th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, God Bless America, and our scripture is Amos chapter 5. Do what is good and run from evil so that you may live. Then the Lord God of heaven's armies will be your helper, just as you have claimed. Hate evil and love what is good. Turn your courts into true halls of justice. Perhaps even yet the Lord God of heaven's armies will have mercy on the remnant of his people. I'm drawing on a memory that's from about 60 years ago, which is a bit dangerous considering I have trouble remembering what I had for breakfast yesterday. Nonetheless, it's a memory that returns often. The singer was Kate Smith, and the patriotic song I first heard gave me goosebumps. Irving Berlin wrote God Bless America during World War I in 1918. It was updated in World War II and became Kate Smith's signature song. I loved it when I first heard it in the mid-1950s, and I got weary of it after September 11, 2001, when it became the music to accompany the seventh-inning stretch at ballgames. Berlin wrote and updated the song as a contribution to developing a culture of peace. It has become something of a marching song to support the troops in wartime. Let me be quick to say that I do love this country, lest I be just as quickly invited to leave it. I love so much of what this nation's founding has as its base, political and religious freedom and the open opportunity tradition that offers everyone the right to pursue life, liberty, and happiness. By the way, you have the right to pursue it, but you must catch it for yourself. There is no guarantee it will be handed to you on a silver platter. I believe there are at least three ways you can sing Berlin's song. You can sing it as a favorite, a filler, or as a prayer. When you sing it as a favorite, there are songs that we just like because they're easy to remember and everybody else seems to know the words too. They're like drinking songs, making you smile and feel good when everybody joins in. Some of the favorites when it comes to the hymns at church are like that, which is why we wear them out. You can sing it as a filler. At the ballpark, you need something to take your mind off how boring some games can be, or at least how much your back is aching after sitting on a metal bench for three and a half hours. Filling the seventh inning stretch with a rousing, patriotic, marching song tends to bring you back to the ballpark to buy $4 hot dogs. Or you could sing it as a prayer. This is a lot harder than favorites and fillers. When you really mean what the words say in this song, you're putting your life on the line. To ask God to bless America, you're asking God to take over and make this country what he sees as best, not for the sake of America or any political ideology, but for the sake of God's kingdom. The reason for that is God's kingdom supersedes any earthly nation, kingdom, or ideas. This prayer is no baseball theme song. It's a serious offering of who you are to be used in God's plan. When you ask God to stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above, you're not asking God to steer this ship toward invincibility from enemies, but to the position of holiness to do God's will. This isn't rubbing the good luck charm to stay on a winning streak. This is bowing before holy God to report for duty. For you today, God bless America. If you honestly love this land and all the godly principles upon which she has stood, sing the song as a prayer. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.